Yep, I think she's just going to walk right over there. Fantastic. That's cool. <laughs> I like it. She looks like she might be a little bit drunk, though. Callie, you haven't been drinking while you piloted my ships, are you? That's a big no-no. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. Uh, we are now in Grand Exchange 3. It's been about five minutes since I left you in the last episode. And as you can see, there's a, a battle going on here. And when this happens, um, they, a bunch of stuff is dropped. And if you look on my radar, you can see there's a whole bunch of little white boxes. And so what, one thing you can do is you know, kind of take advantage of that and see if you can pick up some of that stuff because it's just sitting in space for the taking now. Um, so let's uh, see if we can get some of this stuff. And some of it might be worth a lot of money. Uh, that's just a blown up ship. Okay, yeah, so it's these things here. Hopefully we don't get shot at while we're doing this. Um, and we can just kind of tractor beam that into our hull. And some of this could be pretty valuable, and we could go sell it and make ourselves a little bit of bank here. Um, let's do this. Let's get into... Uh, where are we at? Yeah, we're in Grand Exchange 3. Okay. There we go. And uh, if we just fly over it, then we can pick it up too. We don't have to suck it into our thing, but suck it in our thing. That didn't sound good. <laughs> okay, let's grab the. Oh, don't hit that. Um. Tour bus. Bus no mass short rate mass transporter. It F. Doesn't look like that targets the the Lutskis. Let's go after this one next. You will need to do much more than that. It's right over here. So this is just one way to make money, especially in the early game. One thing we do have to be careful of, though, is grabbing anything that's illegal. Um, because if we get caught by the police, then they'll force us to drop it or they'll blow us up. Okay, let's see. Uh, fly to container. Kablooey! I lost that container. I don't know where it's at. I don't think they last forever. I think they will expire after a little while. Okay. Start. Fly to container. There it is. Oh, it just. There it is. Okay. Okay. We got some of that. Here's a piece right here. Yeah, we overshot that one a little bit, so let's just... Oh. Can we not fit that in our ship? I guess not. Too big. Or either that or maybe we just don't have uh, the cargo space for it anymore. Uh, let's take a look at that. Ship information. Well, that doesn't show we have anything in our cargo. Is this all going into my personal inventory? Oh, it is. This uh, ma Magiglit is worth uh, 20,000 credits. I guess it's not really worth a whole ton of money, but 
You never know what you're gonna find. All right, let's. Oh, does that tell us what's in there? Oh, it does. Navidium crystals, extended fuel container. I don't know how much that stuff's worth. Um, okay, yeah, so... I guess we just can't fit fit this in this size of ship, or in my inventory or something, I don't know. Okay, let's go... Let's try this one here. I know, um, just from watching a couple of videos, that one of the best ways to make money early game is to go look hunting for crystals. So at some point, a bluey. At some point, we will do that. There we go. Bandler missile capacity mod. Okay, did that explosion just? Generate another container? Nope. I think that's it. They're all... Well, that's a pirate base. Oh, no wonder there was so much uh, conflict going on there. Okay, can we... There we go. Now we got uh, guidance to that place. Oh, that's a, that's a jump gate there, too. Okay. Let's go over to the jump gate and just see where it goes to. We're not going to actually go through it. It's probably going to go... Well, it could go back into Black Hole Sun, actually. That, that would be my guess. Because remember, we got out of Black Hole Sun through that anomaly thing, not through a normal jump gate. Taladi Defense Platform. Oh, this is a to jump gate. What is this? Must be some kind of station or something. There is a jump gate beyond it, though. Taladi Trading Station. Oh, it's a tr okay. Interesting. Okay, there is a. Let's go map the jump gate. That is behind it, though, and I'm pretty sure that's going to go back to Black Hole Sun. That's cool, man. It's a ring station. Nifty. I love it. Jump gate, black hole sun. Okay, yep. Black hole sun. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Uh, actually, hold on. I wonder if we need to go through that gate to... S I bet you we need to go through that gate to... Um, To get out the other side of it uh, or have it mapped on the other side so let's pop through it and then pop back out again entering system black hole sun okay all right so that's where it pops us out right down there cool Let's go back. Entering system, Rand Exchange. Okay, we're gonna put autopilot, autopilot on. And we're gonna check and see if our other ship is, uh, what the status of it is. Oh, it looks like it's done. Nice, okay, so. 
Uh, we should have... We should have the pilot assigned to it already. Can I help? Yep, it does. Okay. Uh, so, we'll tell her to... I guess Affirmative. just join my squad and she'll come to us. Excellent. And autopilot's taking us to this station where we're going to get the antimatter cells. Autopilot disengaged. But we want to load the cells in the other ship, not in this one. So we have to wait till it gets here. Because the other one's the one we're going to bl actually blow up. Docking granted. Hopefully they'll still have um, have the uh, antimatter stuff here. Okay. Right about there. And then we need to go forward a little more. Right there and then down cool leftover cookies please check Successfully docked. luggage for leftover Welcome. cookies okay all right so now we just wait until our other ship gets here um and i think i'm gonna do uh another save uh, so this can be uh, we're oh yeah we are still in grand exchange okay so we're gonna call this grand exchange O G whoops O G two safe. Very good. Now, let's go to the map and see where our other... Oh, yeah, they're on their way. They're just about here. Look at that. Cool. It shouldn't take them too long to get here. So this is where that um, SETA time compression device would come in handy because we could just sit outside the station and then speed up time and get that ship to us much quicker but we don't have access to that yet uh, let's look at a couple things in the encyclopedia Do we have any backstory here oh there's lots of new entries timeline earth scientists create jump gates in 2022 AD-184 NT, Ashizawa Kazuko made a startling discovery. It was indeed possible to travel faster than the speed of light with finite energy. Kazuko had successfully established the principle of the tunnel jump. Skepticism was rife, but repeated experiments showed that the previously unknown student was indeed correct. Very soon, two huge jump gates were built, one sent to Mars, and the other to Proxima Centauri, in humankind's first attempt at interstellar travel. In 2041, contact with a ship carrying the Proxima Gate was lost, but after a year of frantic research, the Sol Gate once again found a connection. Scientists were stunned to discover that it had not connected with the Proxima Gate, but an unknown gate in a distant region of the Milky Way. Utterly by chance, humankind had stumbled across an entire network of jump gates of unknown origin. It was an invitation that could not be turned down. Very cool. All right, so that starts giving us a little bit of backstory here. And I think, I don't know if it was the Proxima Centauri ships that eventually became the Argon or not. I don't, I'm not real clear on that. 
Uh, we have a new entry here for first contact with Talati. First contact with a Talati. Contact with another species calling itself the Talati was made in 550 MT. Ostensibly searching for their lost home, Yanamasura, the newcomers proved themselves shrewd business people with the uncanny ability to make the best of even the worst situation. Their introverted nature and ubiquitous tendency towards avarice proved uncomfortable to other races, but their financial brilliance all but assured them a place within the community of planets. Such was their dominance over other races in business and economic fields that the Talati quickly became the primary financial power within the community, even introducing the credit as a community-wide currency to great success. Very cool. All right, yeah, so more of this stuff will unlock uh, for us as we go along, and we'll uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep uh, doing some of that backstory. Okay, cool. So anyway, let's get back to this. Our ship is probably pretty darn close to getting here by now, isn't it? Where's it at? Uh, okay, it's, it's just getting ready to go through this jump gate, so it shouldn't take long at all for it to get here. We can even, um, let's see, we can do a live stream view to the ship. There it is. Oh, that's cool. Okay, she just went through the gate. Now she's in Grand Exchange 3 and on her way to us. All right, now I want to see if I can dock. It's not possible to dock at your current location. Why not? It's not possible to dock at your current location. Do I... Okay, do I have to... Get out of the ship and... Does it mean because my ship is in this specific location? I'm not quite sure what that means. But let's get out of here. And let's run over to... This docking pad. Uh, if I can get over there. I don't know how to get over there. Doesn't let me get over. Okay, what if I just stand here? What's this do? Display ship options. S basic document. Bay. Request ship from internal storage. Oh, that's cool. If we have a ship stored here. Okay, what if we go... Whoop. Okay. Dock my current location. Nice, okay. So I guess it wouldn't dock where we were because there it is. Woo! Our, our ship was in that specific location. That makes sense. That ship is blue. Is ours blue? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay, so... Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to tell her, our new captain, to go into our other ship. Elite Vanguard. Callie. Captain Callie. Hi, Captain Callie. Can I help? Uh, sure. I want you to work somewhere else for me. I want you to go to this ship as the captain. Affirmative. Okay, so she should get up and... Is she just going to walk right over there? Let's just see what she does, just out of curiosity. Yep, I think she's just going to walk right over there. 
Fantastic. That's cool. <laughs> I like it. She looks like she might be a little bit drunk, though. Callie, you haven't been drinking while you're piloting my ships, are you? That's a big no-no. Okay, we'll just wait for her to get into that ship. So that's the one we're going to keep, right? Because this one here doesn't have any weapons or shields. It's just the one that we bought. To... There she goes, up the ladder. Okay, so now let's get into this ship. And we want to go to trade. And we want to buy three antimatter cells. Here we go. Confirm. Waiting for trade to finish. Apparently they have to deliver the cells out to us. We could also have walked up to the trader guy and bought him that way too, but... Uh, well, actually, maybe not the antimatter cells, because I think those are considered... Are those wares or are those inventory items? Yeah, those are those are our wares. Wares are stored in the ship, whereas this stuff... Well, no, cargo. I'm sorry, it's considered cargo. These are wares. Okay, while we're here, we should try and sell the, some of this stuff. Uh... At least the trade wares. We might want to hang on to the crafting stuff so we can make something out of it later. So if we go to this magic glit. Uh, okay, hold on. Dock interactions. Trade. Oh, no. That's... No, 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 no. That's our own inventory. Okay, never mind. So... You know what I think? No, I think we have to... We do have to go talk to that guy in person to sell stuff in our own inventory. I think that's what I'm seeing here. So we use this to buy stuff for the ship. Okay, I think that's what's happening here. So let's hop out of here. And we will click on this. We want to go to Trader's Corner. Right here. Okay. Hello. Can I help? Show me your way. There you go. Uh, okay. So, how do I sell? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. I don't want to spend more, any more time trying to figure this out. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I just don't know how. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, let's do Shift-D to get back on our ship. I think it's this SK one that we want to get on. Because Callie should be in the other one. Is she sitting in the pilot seat? Yeah, she is. There she is right there. Okay, cool. All right, before we take off, um, let's go here. And we want to tell Callie to... Oh, no, am I clicking on the wrong thing? Yeah, I'm clicking on the wrong Careful. thing. Okay. So tell her, tell her to join our squad. Okay. And then um, let's let's do another save. Um, I'm just going to overwrite that save because that'll be fine. Before we take off. Okay. Sundock. Uh, no, nah, we're not going to mess with that right now. Okay, so let's go into our map, into our mission manager. Somehow or another, this got deactivated. I don't know why, but it did. And this is where we want to go. So can we just do fly and wait? No, let's keep her with us. There we go. Set guidance to object. Um, 
That didn't set the guidance. I don't know why it didn't. Okay, what if we just go to this super highway? There we go. That'll work. Requesting permission to dock. Dock permission granted. Uh. Wait, where did it go? Find the super highway. I don't see the orange marker. Um, yeah, I don't know why I don't see the orange marker. Let's try that again. Let's go... Stop guidance. Start guidance. Fly to superhighway. Hmm. It's telling us to fly there, but it's not giving us the marker there. I don't know why. Okay, well, that means we... I mean, we can fly to it this way because we know where it's at. Uh, we just need to go go north. So Z plus is north on the ecliptic plane there. Superhighway Grand Exchange 4. Entering Grand Exchange 4. Autopilot engaged. Entering Grand Exchange One. All right, guys, we're here. Autopilot disengaged. Get a little bit closer. Um, I think we want to... Okay, hold on. Let me look at the map here real quick. I'm going to go to here and... Set that back to active again. There we go. Okay. Got to get a little bit closer. Be sure that the ship is evacuated. It is far too early in this experiment for needless casualties. Okay, so we want to make sure our other ship is close enough for us to spacewalk over to it. So they're slowly approaching. I'm going to wait till they get over here. Okay, let's pop out of the Map menu. Beacon, satellite, elite, vanguard. Go into external view. Alright, what I want them to do is uh, remove all orders and assignments, so, so that way they just hold still. Okay, now let's fly closer to them. That should work. And then we're going to hop out of this ship. Whoops. Docking not possible. Docking not possible. All right, hold on. Get up. There we go. Elite Vanguard. Very good. We seem to be ready for the initial test. I would advise that you clear the area as there are a number of unknowns. Elite. Fly to the following position. Okay, 
Now, let's take command of the ship. Hello there. Hello. And then fly over here. Gotta get out of range of this antimatter explosion. I have successfully interfaced with the ship. I am increasing the output of the power plant while reducing the shielding of the antimatter containers to see if that affects the anomaly. Okay, let's watch it. Wonderful. We are getting a reaction. The ship is beginning to show strain, but I will continue to push it further. Keep your distance. The tear is expanding. It's about to reach the ship. The antimatter will most likely detonate. Boom. Cool. All right, so. Oh. Whoa, look at that. What is this? Some large artificial structure. So this is what was on the other side of the tear. It does seem that our investigation has led to some potentially groundbreaking discovery. Now, my friend, this is where we must proceed with both haste and caution. While I admit, tearing through space-time with an antimatter explosion was far from restrained, we now have something in front of us of untold scientific value. We would be fools to continue carelessly. For the benefit of the universe, let us hurry and claim our prize before someone can beat us to it. I'll be damned if some passing Taladi junk dealer decides to break it down for spare parts, or worse yet, the Ministry of Finance Science Division. I will begin to interface with the structure remotely. Do you mind flying around it so I can make some additional readings? Let's start over here. Okay. So this is as far as I have been. Um... When I played it uh, before, I played up to this point, and then I stopped. I didn't do anything further. So um, when we start the next episode, we will pick up right where we left off. I am going to save right here, and then we will continue on and check out and see what this uh, structure is all about. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.